二百零一，海峡时报，新加坡 ，Election on the Cards。Rounders panel formed. 二零一五年七月十四日 Top of the news, Charissa Young, Rachel Now Young committed to review Rounders walls formed two months ago. GRC is maybe made smaller. Expect a general election in the coming months. The first step in the lead up to an election, the formation of a committee to review constituency boundaries, took place two months ago. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong told Parliament yesterday. M. R. Lee said he had asked the Electoral Boundaries Review Committee to consider population shifts and housing developments since the last exercise in 2021. He has also asked the committee to reduce the average size of a group representation constituency (G R C) to below five members and to have at least sub E single member constituencies (S M C S). There are currently sub M G R C S with an average size of five M P S and sub E S M C S. Analysts told the Straits Times that they expect the redrawn electoral boundaries to be released in the weeks ahead, paving the way for an election to be called as early as September. They cite the feel-good factor of Singapore's Golden Jubilee celebrations next month and the surge in goodwill towards the government following founding Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew's passing in March. The lines seem to converge on a September general election. D. R. Anand Sir of the National University of Singapore (N. U. S.) said. Hang Lee's announcement yesterday was in reply to M. R. Arthur Fung, West Coast G. R. C. and non-constituency M. P. Lee Jen Zhang. After the committee's report is published, the next stage in the lead-up to polling day is for Parliament to be dissolved and the writ of election issued. The next step is nomination day. Which must take place no earlier than five days and no later than one month after the writ is issued. Nomination day is the start of the campaign period, which is required by law to be a minimum of nine days. There is then a cooling off day, which falls on the eve of polling day when voters cast their ballots. In past elections, the duration between the formation of the committee and polling day lasted between two and seven months. In the last two elections held in 2006 and 2007, however, the committee took for months to do its work before the report was published. The elections were then called within two months. A total of 2.6 million eligible voters are currently on the rolls. A rise from 2.3 million in 2007. The change in size of a G R C was signaled by M R Lee as early as 2009 when he pledged to reduce the average number of M P S in a G R C from 2.5 to 5, and to increase the number of S M C S. These changes were introduced in the 2011 general election. When the number of S M C S was raised from nine to sub E, there are now two six member G R C S sub E five member G R C S and two four member G R C S. Singapore Management University law professor Eugene Tan did not rule out the continuation of six member G R C S, but said they would be harder to justify. Analysts like D. R. Lampang、er、predict that there will be more for member G. R. C. S. and more seats in Parliament, which currently has bus up to elected seats, said the political scientist from N. U. S. A. Station Institute. There are only so many ways you can slice the pie. Logically speaking, we should expect to see six man G. R. C. S. becoming five man once. Five man G. R. C. S. becoming four. Meanwhile, People's Action Party (PAP) and opposition activists alike saw M. R. Lee's announcement as a signal to step up preparations for the general election, said PAP Lee Pandan Branch Secretary Angie Ng.、Mm. If the election is not in September, then it might be in October or November. But she added that the preparation for it started long ago. See top of the news home.